Cervantes, let's play. Holy crap! Okay, so now I see what I gotta do. Maybe not. Okay. Planimus isn't going along right now. Get over here. Yes, yes, and yes. Oh, man. That was insane. Put down. I have no idea. Most likely, I'm not gonna be able to get in here. So, no, I gotta go down there. Oh, I made it on top of the railing. Okay, maybe I don't need to go down here. Oh, you go back. Okay. Oh. Is that emancipation grid? They say great science is built on the shoulders of giants. Not here. At Aperture, we do all our science from scratch. No hand-holding. Here we go. I think we're going to begin some new science. With some old science. Invis starts... Ugh. Oh. Guess not. Alright, let's get started. This first test involves something the lab boys call repulsion gel. You're not part of the control group, by the way. You get the gel. Last poor son of a gun got blue paint. <laughs> All joking aside, that did happen. Broke every bone in his legs. Tragic, but informative. Or so I'm told. Bouncy bounties. School containment block, all right. 
Look at this thing. Look how old this thing is. The lab boys just informed me that I should not have mentioned the control group. They're telling me I ought to stop making these pre-recorded messages. That gave me an idea. Make more pre-recorded messages. I pay the bills here, I can talk about the control group all damn day. <laughs> All right. For this next test, we put nanoparticles in the gel. In layman's terms, that's a billion little gizmos that are going to travel into your bloodstream and pump experimental genes and RNA molecules and so forth into your tumors. Now, maybe you don't have any tumors. Well, don't worry. If you sat on a folding chair in the lobby and weren't wearing lead underpants, we took care of that too. Alright, since I completely butchered last recording session and all that jazz, I'm just going to start off new and yeah. Alright, so we're making new science, cold science, and all that stuff, and... I have no cool what I'm just doing. Alright, I'm gonna... I guess it's just basic potion gel testing. But whatever. This doesn't seem too bad. Yeah, my last recording session I was decided to sign out, but it turns out I had like 20 minutes of clips, and I'm not gonna make a 20 minute video. <laughs> Oh, this is a two-parter. Whoa! It's like Super Mario status right here. Okay, so I gotta jump from here. Ooh. Oh, in case you got covered in that repulsion gel, here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Do not get covered in the repulsion gel. We haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet, but I'll tell you this, it's a lively one, and it does not like the human skeleton. One more, but I can definitely cut off this video. This was a very crappy recording session, and I really regret cutting off from that last one, and this is going to be a lot of editing to try to take my audio out. Not really. All these science spheres are made of asbestos, by the way. Keeps out the rats. Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping. Because that's not part of the test. That's asbestos. Good news is the lab boys say the symptoms of asbestos poisoning show a median latency of 44.6 years. So if you're 30 or older, you're laughing. Worst case scenario, you miss out on a few rounds of canasta. Plus, you forwarded the cause of science by three centuries. I punch those numbers into my calculator, it makes a happy face. <laughs> okay. So 
So what am I supposed to do? Uh, I'm assuming I gotta get up there somehow. I really do not like real test chambers. So I got a bouncy pad right here. Oh, I gotta make my own propulsion pads. I gotta find a way. To make this stuff land over here.
Holy crap! Just a heads up, that coffee we gave you earlier had fluorescent calcium in it so we can track the neural activity insane. in your brain. There's a slight chance the calcium could harden and vitrify your frontal lobe. Anyway, don't stress yourself thinking about it. I'm serious. Visualizing the scenario while I smell a new intro video. The reaction. <laughs> that was... I don't even remember how I just did that. Holy crap. Next time, we'll go play some more Portal and put some more bouncy pads. Stay tuned, kids. Now, if you're part of control group Kepler-7, we implanted a tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your skull. Most likely you forgot it's even there. But if it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test, let us know. Because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees, so we're going to need to go ahead and get that out of you pretty fast. Haha. <laughs> Bye, kids.